Thanks, Derek. Lorraine is touring a few of the trades being offered at Nate Campus this morning. Yeah, they're getting all set there for the big open house coming up this weekend, Lorraine. We certainly are, Jen and Shay. Look at this for a glove. Hey, there you go. Is that heavy duty? If Looks you like think it. that is, look at what Jarrett's wearing. Jarrett, can you take that off for just a moment? What are you dressed for? I'm wearing an arc flash shoot to keep me protected while I rack out a breaker for you guys. Oh, you're making that sound so simple. You get in there and we'll talk tech talk with the guys, okay? Sounds good. All right, so Jarrett's going to go to work. In the meantime, we're going to talk about electrical engineering technology. Greg, what exactly is that? Uh, electrical engineering technology is, well, obviously it's a program here. Um, it's the program that deals with power, it deals with uh, control, it deals with all the electrical systems that you see here. So what's Jarrett doing? Uh, Jarrett's going to be pulling out this circuit breaker here. Now this is a 15,000 volt class circuit breaker. He's just operating the breaker there, making sure it's working. Uh, now he's going to be actually pulling it out of service right now. Now this is a substation that we have set up here so that we can do our, our maintenance and our testing. And uh, let's put this into perspective. It's a mini substation. That one box, the door that he's going to be opening, would supply enough power to power what? Um, West Edmonton Mall. Oh. The entire institute. <laughs> oh boy! No wonder you said don't touch anything. <laughs> let's go from where Jared is up to that to that panel. What's the difference between the two? All right. The uh, the panel that you see there would be similar to uh, the panel that you might have in your house. There, mm -hmm. each of those little tabs is a circuit breaker and uh, they're usually about 15 amps for the majority of them. So that's the amount of current that they can, uh, they can control, basically. The circuit breaker that Jared's just operating right now, that's a 12, 1,200 amp circuit breaker, and it operates at about 15,000 volts as opposed to the 120 or 240 volt in your house. Give us an idea, Susan, of the types of things that students would study in this program. They study power systems, which is how the system in the grid works. They study programmable logic controllers, which is automation of systems like beer bottles. They study electrical design, which is designing grids or any substations or industry commercial areas. They study motors, variable frequency drives. Okay, Helen, what are you doing? I'm working on a circuit transformer, which is there. Uh, a current transformer which is there and uh, I'm doing a ratio test right now that means uh, we are measuring the ratio between high end and low end okay. and what are you hoping to do after you graduate this um, I actually want to go into design so I want to design power lines or substation in this direction and what you want to know is the competition to get into this program is stiff however once you're in and you've taken the two-year program 100% of people who graduate from this program get jobs? Correct. For the last few years, we've had a 100% hiring rate, even through what they call the recession. Not in our program. There's a program you might want to consider, electrical engineering technology. When we come back, want to work off those muffins and those Cheerios, Jen and Shay? Personal I'm fitness trainers? Really, no. <laughs> it's the difference between want to and should. What, what was I thinking? I, I take that question back. Okay, the personal fitness trainer program, something that you might not be interested in, but many people are. Oh, yeah. We'll have that for you in just a few minutes. Excellent. Thanks, Lorraine. Okay. We should have volunteered to be subjects for that this morning. Yeah. Boy, I'd be their ultimate test. Here's your final exam. Get this guy in shape. That'd be great. <laughs> the open house is this weekend. For more info, 780-471-NATE or nate.ca.